Yo, homies, listen up. If you want to build endurance, I can say with great assurance that the technique called forced use makes you stronger just when you thought Parkinson's had cooked your goose. We don't quit when we get tired. We don't slow down and we don't whine. We may look all hot and sweaty. Nonetheless, we're feeling fine. Intervals of strenuous effort, shorter intervals of rest. That's the way to build endurance. That's the way that it goes best. Objective data sets our limits. Heart rate helps to set our goals. We move big with our whole body. It takes effort. It takes soul. Goals that once had seemed so distant, we wave at them as we pass by. Things that used to take great effort now are easier than pie. Giving up is not our forte. Easy enough would be a crime. Step aside, I need that treadmill. I'll take it to the top one more time. Forced use. More juice. Forced use. More juice. Dr. Becky Farley, who founded the Power Gym, heard forced use used in reference to stroke. Forced use in stroke is about using the impaired side of the body. Forced use in people with Parkinson's disease is about moving the whole body bigger and faster. And it's more than just cardio. People have to move bigger and faster in everyday life all the time. All right, keep working. Seven out of ten. You have one minute. One of the characteristics of forced use is that you use objective data like heart rate to set your goals. Two and a half minutes, eight out of ten. There are intervals of intense effort followed by intervals of rest. So the stories that people have been telling us since the class is over in their interviews are amazing um, and just watching them leave the classes every day, but people would say things like they feel energized, they um, don't take naps, they can stay awake all day, they, they feel like movement's easier, um, they're optimistic. Three, two, one, take it down, yay, nice job everyone. Pull it down, pull those legs down, keep going, keep going. 